So this equation looks at the lane occupancy for freeway surveillance. So the idea is if you're ingesting information about a freeway into your system, into your processes, what analysis can you do? What understanding of the, the system can you get out of this information? And so what our, our primary measurement here is, is we're looking for R, we're solving for R in this equation. And this gives us a density when it's divided by the average length of a vehicle. So that's the, the key uh, step here is we got to divide the R by the average length of a vehicle to get it in some useful form, in this case, in terms of the density K. Uh, so we're going to do this by starting with the sum of the length of all the vehicles. So how much of the, the lane is occupied, and we're going to divide by the length of the roadway segment uh, in terms of the equation itself. That's the sum of the individual lengths of the vehicles divided by the overall length of the segment V. So looking at an example, we're told that we have information from a traffic management center, and we are told that we have a total of 2,584 feet of a single lane of a two-mile freeway segment that was occupied by vehicles. And we're asked to find the density in vehicles per lane per mile. So solving this, we're going to solve for R, and that's the total occupied length. And we were given that as 2,584 feet divided by the length of the overall segment, two miles. That's going to give us an R of 1,292 feet. We need to divide by the average length of a vehicle to estimate the density K. Uh, for this example, I'll assume that all of these are passenger vehicles in this lane. Maybe it's in the, the far left lane, and we're going to assume that it's, it's not heavy vehicles and it's just passenger vehicles, and those have an average length of 19 feet. So R is equal to 1,292 feet divided by 19 feet per vehicle gives us a density of 68 vehicles per mile per lane, and that is answer C.